All right, guys, welcome to another BitBall video. This is the first one. I've never done an unboxing on this channel. I'm super excited. Today, we're gonna unbox Foundations Device's new Passport device. In my opinion, it's the future of hardware wallets. It's so smooth, it's so cool. No cables, no SD cards involved. It's awesome. This is where hardware wallets are gonna go. In my opinion, this is the most premium hardware wallet on the market right now. Let's check it out. All right, everybody, welcome to the unboxing video of the Foundation Device's first hardware wallet. It's called the Passport. They were kind enough to send me a demo version. In my opinion, it is the prettiest hardware wallet I've ever got my hands on, right? And check it out. The back is plated with copper. It looks like a 1990s Nokia phone. I'm gonna come back to that later, right? It's very pretty. So I'm gonna put in the batteries. out with instructions if you're confused you could just use your phone to scan this code and it walks you through the process all right so if you compare this device with the OGs right and with ledger I don't have a Trezor with me because I'm traveling at the moment but if you compare this with the other devices right is a cold card and it's a ledger now what foundation wants to do Right, and what they set out to do, and I think they did a really good job at, is they want to combine the security of this with the the usability of Ledger. Not so much this one, but the Ledger uh, user interface, and it's just so easy to use, right? So, let's get to it. First, let's make sure your passport has not been tampered with. So. This, the only other device that really does the tamper proofing is the cold card, right? So this is Foundations Device's method of doing the tamper proofing. I go, I, uh, the CEO goes much more in detail about this in the CEO walkthrough video, which will be my second video, right? So you, as the user, this is what you're gonna read. On the next screen, scan the QR code. Alrighty, buddy. So this is the tamper. This is the tamper. Uh, Tamper-proof step. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press this. This is gonna turn on the camera. Then the camera is going to scan the QR code on Foundation's website, and it's gonna give me these words, right? So I'm gonna enter these words into here, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna validate whether the device has been tampered, whether it's gonna check whether the device has been tampered with or not. So let's do that step. Okay, so the next step is we have to set up the pin. And then we're gonna do this. Each pin is between two to six digits. So it's the same method as the cold card, right? Same as a cold card, the two security words. We're gonna press OK. Okay, so this step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna restore it. All right, we're gonna import. So what Passport does, it's, it's very neat. Uh, they kind of guess your, they, they don't guess your words, but they have that autofill feature, auto feature that those Nokia phones did. So I'm gonna do it for the first word, right? So the first word is device. So I'm gonna click D, E, V, I, C, and it automatically fills you out, fills it out. So what this allows you to do is you could restore a seed very, very quickly, especially compared to this and especially compared to this. These things take you about half an hour. This thing only takes you three minutes, right? So very cool. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pair this with the blue wallet, right? So we're gonna go into settings. We're gonna go to pair external wallet. 
we're gonna find the blue wallet. It's right here, blue wallet. We're gonna click on this. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna show some QR codes, right? So on my iPhone, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press scan, and I'm gonna scan this. Did it super quickly, it was super fast. That's gonna import the wallet, right? Successfully imported onto my iPhone, right? All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna build a transaction on the blue wallet. We're gonna sign it on the passport, and then we're going to import the signature, the signed, uh, the signed PSBT back to the blue wallet so the blue wallet could broadcast it, right? This is really cool because this is all air grabbed. None of this, we're not using an SD card. We're not using any type of cables. It's all through cameras and it's all through QR codes, right? So let's do this very quickly. We're gonna build the transaction on the blue wallet, right? So we're gonna send the minimal amount, so 0 0.0002, then we're going to press next, right? So it's gonna give us a QR code. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna turn off the light so there's no glare. What we're gonna do is we're gonna press sign with QR code. We're gonna press sign, and it's going to give us a camera. So it validates the thing, and we're going to check whether the signature on here matches. You guys know the drill. We're gonna press continue. We're gonna press sign TX, right? No, keep going. So. Then the sign TX is also going to give us a QR code on the on the on the on the passport device. And what we're going to do is we're going to press scan TX file on here, and we're going to scan the the QR code that's done on the iPhone. Right now it's ready to go, so we're going to press send now, and we're done. Right, very cool, no cables, very unique. The cold card doesn't do this. This does that, completely air gapped, right? So press done. We already got the transaction because we sent it to myself and we're ready to go. Awesome. So the device has a secret menu, right? Uh, it's, I'm not, I don't know if I'm allowed to reveal it right now, but you put in a secret code like those old PlayStation games, right? And it, and it unlocks a secret menu on the device and it takes you to the game Snake on here. You can play Snake on this device and let's play a game, right? Very simple, very cool. You can't do this with anything else, right? Guys, thank you so much for watching another BitVault video. This was my first unboxing video. Let me know how I did. If you guys like the video, you know what to do. If you guys love the video, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.